you take your uniform off when you get inside, 2K, because it's sweaty. That's our mark. A mother and a daughter. I mean, it's so easy. I got this. Keep the car running. Whoa. Are those your new kidnapping gloves? Because they're nice. <laughs> oh, look at me. I'm giddy with anticipation. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know, there's people, though, that will say what we do both is morally and karmically reprehensible, but <laughs> you can't let that affect you when you're on the job. We're helping people in a strange kind of way, you know? I feel good. I feel like I'm giving back to the community by taking little bits of it away. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Snatch some kids. Arr, arr. <laughs> I won't eat them. You have to have boundaries. Avery! Honey, turn your music down. You're gonna go deaf. children per hour than I've ever seen any time. We've gone through almost all the candy canes for the whole day. I only have four left. This is an excellent occasion to expand our profit margins, honoring the spirit by which this excellent jubilee was conceived. Where are you going? That's my, that's my mom! Let's go! Are you crazy? I told you to forget her! No, no, we have to figure out where that house is! It's a big city. This house could be anywhere. That's in Parkdale. We have a home there. Please, we're renting. You have to help me. No one else understands these people. Okay, fine. Just don't blame me when you get rejected again. Okay. Let's go. Cool. Hello, my little pumpkin. How was the ride? Did you enjoy your pickled beets? No. Where am I? You're in a very special place, which will be even more extraordinary now that you're here. Where's her mother? <laughs> well, you see, the thing is, the kid's a lot tougher than she looks. She's vicious. But she fell into my trap and I snared her. And I, uh, I could only snare the fox. And, or the hen. <laughs> I'm the fox. She's the hen. No, she's the chicken. I gotta get the hen to get the chicken to get the eggs. Which came first, right? <laughs> the fox or the chicken, I don't know. How have you been? Don't cry sweet it causes wrinkles and this little face is company property now i love my mommy so do i bring her <laughs> get back here that's five more what the popo 
Cops? Buzz? I don't see anybody. I'm just gonna go look. Hey, do not get involved with the cops. That is rule number one in this street. You're actually going? Really? Look, I'm sorry, this is not a very good time, but whatever you're selling, I'm not interested, okay? Hey, Bethany, wait. I'm sorry, do we know each other? Do we know each other? Well, I know that in grade eight, you had a huge crush on David Skorzak, but he wasn't that into you. He, he liked your friend Martha Wexler better because she had bigger boobs. Look, I, I really am sorry. And you used to, to bathe me and comb my hair with your mother's brush, and she used to get so mad. And don't you remember when your little brother Brett got in that accident? You were so scared. We spent the whole night together in the hospital. I'm sorry, can you excuse me for a second? Okay. Evening, Sint. Hi. Are you the Fuzzy Popo? <laughs> One rule. I got to see my mom, at least. Whatever you do, don't say anything to these cops. Not one word. You hear that? You're not gonna get nothing from us. Nothing, not one thing. Nothing! I don't even know this guy is a factory, but the machine that turned babies into dolls, and he escaped the evil child catcher and got to his mother, and I don't know who I am. John? May I sit down? Please tell me where my daughter is. I I'm not supposed to talk to the... They're not going to do anything, okay? Just tell us where Avery is. I don't know. I wish I did. All, all I know is I, I saw you on the television, and I knew I had to see you. How do I know you? I almost didn't recognize you at first, either. You seemed a lot bigger then. What do you mean? It's kind of hard to explain. Try me. Okay. Um. Well, I come from a place where when we're little, we're frozen. And we're turned into dolls. And we're adopted by little girls. And, and they love us. And we love them. He's crazy. No. He's crazy. Who are you? I'm John Franks. Oh. I'm your John. Oh. <laughs> Find your daughter. I promise.
sure you don't want to lift home? I'd really rather stay here and help out. Uh, there's nothing for you to do here. We're doing everything we can, Miss Franks. I know. What will happen to them? Well, they'll be released in a few hours. We can't hold them longer than that. Besides them being weirdos, they haven't done anything wrong. Well, maybe I should go in there and talk to him again. Go get some rest, Miss Franks. I promise. If anything else comes in, we'll call. Okay. All right, you two. No, not you. You, Santa, and the crying elf. You're free to go. Bye, Leo. Hope you find your mom. Thanks. I made a terrible mistake. I have to get back to Mary now. What? Do you realize the world of pain you've already caused me? You're a great guy, and I wish you the best. Namaste. You're leaving me? Look, friend, it's been real, <sighs> but it's time <sighs> to move on. Mom? Mom, I, I mean, Bethany, you came back. Get in. Don't trust her, man. She's bad news. Friend, this ain't going to be good. Bethany, I forgive you for everything that happened in there. You weren't yourself. You see this? That is unacceptable. I told you, you can't. Ah! Where is my daughter? I don't know. I wish I did, but I don't. Do you know who this is? Neighbors caught a glimpse of this man standing outside my house. You know who it is, don't you? Where is my daughter? They took her home. Home? I'll explain on the way. We, we need to pick up Sly's truck, and we need to make one final stop. You have to trust me. For Avery's sake. Why are you helping us? They're my family. I will always love you. It really is you, isn't it? Let's go get Avery. I need you to stay here. Okay. Don't worry. We're gonna get your little girl back. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's what you call a good kidnapping glove. Beet juice. They must have grabbed her when we were inside, sharing our feelings. Well, what do we do now? We need to call in reinforcements. Let her go. Well, you look stunning. Please sit. Let's eat. You must be famished. Where is my daughter? Oh, please. Avery! Avery! 
She can't hear you. Please just let her go. I'll do anything to get her back. Let's drink to a lovely meal. <laughs> I hope you like cabbage rolls. Mm. Look at us. A perfect family. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna drop off my gang in the south end of the field by the factory fence. They wait for my signal, and when it's all clear, we call in the cavalry. Everybody got it? Uh, okay, but but what are we gonna do? It's up to us to get in and find out where they're keeping your mother and the little girl. How are we gonna get in? Straight through the front door. What's wrong, my dear? You seem distracted. What are you gonna do with us? There is no us, only we. But why would we begin our lives together burdened by a snot-nosed kid? What do you mean? It might be a good idea if we had a few spare replacement daughters just in case she doesn't make out. What are you saying? How do I put this gently? We want to freeze your daughter, make a mold out of her, and sell her likeness on the free market. You can't do that. You can't do that. It'll kill her. Well, perhaps, but the mold will be saved, and you'll have plenty of replacements just in case. I seem to recall you had no difficulty in abandoning your last child. You know, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I mean... Avery has been an awful burden to me. And just think. Hmm? Think about all of the free time that we could have. Just the two of us. It's incredible what you've built here. I mean, the, the terror and the, the fear. Kidnapping. I mean, how have you managed it all? Hmm? It's uh, a gift, really. Oh, I know. It shows, it shows, it shows. And you know what else? Hmm? I want to show you another side of me. I like the sound of that. Mm hmm. Do you like my mother's necklace? It's beautiful. I can't believe they buried her in it. I don't care if he's on a date. <laughs> Sir, there seems to be a bit of a disturbance shh, down shh, on the factory shh, floor. Jesus, I'm busy. Sir, this really can't wait. Hello, you look much prettier without a bag on Go your head. Go away. Sir, this is important. I'm sorry, I can't get this little gnat to fly away. It's very important that I need to see you right now, sir. It's... You're right. <laughs> you could fit into one of your shoe boxes. <laughs> <laughs> sir, I'm sure you don't care, but there is an entire huge revolt happening right now throughout the factory, and they're coming for you. Look! You knew this was happening right behind my back. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. Bring me the girl and the machine. Let me go. Please Shut let up. Go. <laughs> let <me> go. No. <laughs> it's over, Yori. Just let her go. Oh, I'd be happy to. But Kenny has taken quite an attachment to the little one. Kenny? Sick him. Please. Help. Let me go. Coward. 
So, how's your evening been? This is all very exciting. One more step, and your sweet little sister gets it. No, no, please, please, please don't hurt her. It's you that's hurt her with all your games. All I wanted was to have a family of my own. You want to belong? You want to have a family of your own? You want to be loved? Just look around you. You don't get what you want by striking fear into everyone to get your way. It's about letting yourself love and be loved. What are we going to do with them? There's only one thing we can do. Please. I'm feeling very warm and, and loving, friend. Could, couldn't we just sit in a circle? Or maybe we could have a group hug. Does it hurt? Oh, yeah. Welcome to Pat Chenter Ross Re-Education Program. I can't begin to thank you enough for everything that you have done for me. Is there anything you want to say to him? Hmm? Thank you. You're welcome, little sis. Why don't you come back with us? I can't. I don't belong there. Maybe I never did. This is my home. It was beautiful once. And it will be again. You should stay. <laughs> you know that I can't do that. But I need you. <laughs> no, you don't. Look what you've done. You figured it out all by yourself. Listen, if you need a man around the house, I am presently available. Um, well, I don't think that we need anyone, do we? But we'll take a ride. Baby steps. <laughs> 